Hi, my name is Trisha, one of the suspension trainers here at Yoga Athletics. Today I want to show you the four most common suspension trainer sins. These are things I do not want to see in class. I'm going to demonstrate a chest press. So I'm holding the handles. I'm going to step my feet back into an appropriate position for me today. The first most common sin that I see very often in many exercises is swaying in the back. Just like any of your classes at Yoga Athletics, we want to maintain a natural curve in the spine and a sense of tightness across the low belly, maintaining that structure in your spine as we go through your chest press. The other sin that we often see is scraping. So those suspension trainer straps scraping along your skin as you do an exercise. Very easily avoided by just lifting the hands a couple of inches and maintaining a gap between your skin and the straps. Another sin that we often see is sawing those straps moving independently from one another. By maintaining balance on those green tabs at the top of your suspension trainer and keeping tension equally in those arms, we can avoid that sawing motion. Another very common suspension trainer sin is the uh, slack in your straps. So we want to maintain tension in your straps at all times, trying to avoid slacking in the straps. At any time when you're participating in an exercise, try and maintain tension equally in your suspension trainer straps. Can't wait to see you in class.